Hello guys, a warm welcome to everyone who are going to listen this lecture. I Rahul, I am from CSCH with the bearing pin number 835. Today I am going to explain you about the topic based on instruction cycle. Okay, in order to know about the instructions, first of all, we need to follow the four major steps. Those are fetching, decoding, reading of the FQ address from the memory and the executing of the instruction. First of all, to know about this, we have to know about the three major block diagrams like control unit of the basic computer and fetching or fetching phase of the computer and flow of the, the instruction cycle. Today, and our topic is about the instruction cycle. Before we know about instruction cycle, we have to know about the control unit of basic computer as well as the fetching phase. Okay, let us discuss about the control unit of the basic computer. Okay, this block diagram of the control unit is displayed in this figure as you are, as you are uh, looking. It includes two decoders and a sequential counter and several logic gates. Some instructions that is read from the memory is placed in the instruction register, that is IR. Okay, and here the IR is divided into three parts. Those are address, opcode, and mode. This mode may be either one or zero. It is represented as I. And the opcode is a three bit, and it occup opcode occupies three bit. That is 12th bit, 13th bit, and 14th bit. And address part will occupy zero to 11 bits. In this, we are using 3 by 8 decode and as well as 4 by 16 decoder to generate the control signals with the help of combinational logic circuit. Okay, and also 4 bit sequential counter. Also, we are uh, uh, using this for incrementing uh, the for incrementing the program counter as well as for clearing purpose as well as uh, to generate the clock signals to it. Let us discuss about this one by one by one. The uh, IR is divided into three elements, as I know earlier. The opcodes are decoded with three by eight decoder whose outputs are indicated by symbols D0 to D7. The binary value of the respective opcode is the subscripted number in the symbol. The symbol I, which is the 15th bit, as I earlier mentioned, I is mode. 15th bit of the instruction is transferred to your flip-flop. The logic, the control logic gates have the bits that are used from 0 through 11. So the, sequen the sequential counter is 4 bits counts in binary from 0 through 15. It can be incremented or cleared synchronously. The timing signals from G T0 through T15 are the decoded outputs of the decoder. Here we are using the sequential counter for incrementing of the program counter. Okay, and as well as for clearing the previous instruction data. So, and shall we discuss about next topic that is uh, fetching. In this fetching, in this fetching, uh, we, are, we are having the control uh, uh, system signals and memory unit. AR means address register, PC means program counter, IR means instruction register ld means load clock and common bus these are the components of the fetching phase initially the program counter pc is loaded with the address of the first instruction in the program the sequential counter sc is clear to zero providing a decoding time signal t0 after each clock pulse sc is incremented by one so that the remaining signals go through a sequence T0, T1, T2, and so on. The micro operations for the fetch and the decode phases can be specified by the following register transfer statements. At T0 state, program counter will be stored in address register. And T1 state, the program counter will be incremented by one and as well as the memory of the address register will be stored in instruction register. This T1 and uh, T0, these both are called as fetching states. Next, at T2 means D0 to D7 decoding. These are the decoding states. Let us discuss about that uh, later in the instruction cycle. 
since only ar is connected to the address inputs of the memory it is necessary to transfer the address from program counter to address register during the clock transition associated with the timing signal t0 i mean t0 the instruction read from memory is then placed in the instruction register ir with the clock transition associated with the timing signal t1 at the same time program counter is incremented by 1 with the help of sequential counter to prepare it for the address of the next instruction in the program at time t2 the operation code in ir means instruction register is decoded the indirect bit is transferred to flip flop i i means mode and the address part of the instruction is transferred to uh, uh, address register so that uh, the sequential counter is incremented after each clock was to produce the sequence t0 t1 and t2 if uh, if a new if a new uh, address i mean new instruction is passed to the address then uh then the program counter uh, then the sequential counter will be incremented uh, i mean uh, the sequential uh, the program counter will be incremented by 1 as well as uh, uh so the program counter will be incremented by 1 with the help of sequential counter as well as the the instruction will be clear with the help of sequential counter So our next is instruction cycle. This is the flow through of instruction cycle. As I said earlier, this total is included in this is the uh, instruction cycle. That's why I say about the control unit as well as this fetching and decoding box. Here is C to set to zero. It means sequential count is zero. It means what it means means. Uh, Uh, whenever the instruction, a uh, new instruction is comes to the address part of the IR, then it will be that then the sequential counter will be zero. So the program counter, uh, the program counter will be incremented by one. So the address of the the address will be stored in program counter. The program counter will be stored. The address of the program counter will be stored in address register at T zero state. After that. The program counter will be incremented by one, and as well as it stores in program counter. So the memory of the address register is stored in instruction register at T one state. At T zero T one, these both are known as fetching, and we will go to T two state. In T two state, the decoding operation will be done. It means that uh, as we know that earlier instruction format consists of three phases. That means address, opcode, and mode. The address part will be occupied zero to eleven bits. So IR of zero to eleven bit is stored in address register, and twelve to fourteen bits is occupied by opcode. That will be stored in op, and mode fifteenth bit is occupied as mode. So, if the D seven D seven D seven means uh, it is the crucial uh, state in the timing signal. If the D seven state is active, then it may be register referenced or else input output uh, input output registers. If D seven is not active, it means one to six the bits will occupy one to six. Then it may be memory reference. In memory reference, it again divided into two parts: direct and indirect. Okay, let us discuss about uh, uh, memory reference. It means at the decode, at the opcode will consist of zero to six itself. It does not include seven. If the opcode consists of zero uh, to six, then it is known as memory reference. Again, based on the mode, and it will be divided into two components. That is direct. It means zero. If the mode for if the mode position consists of zero, then it is direct. If the mode co uh, position consists of one, it means indirect. If the direct address will be available, then it directly execute from the memory reference instruction, and the sequential counter will be become zero. It stores in ARR, and if it may be indirect, that means at the mode position, if uh, the mode bit is occupied as one, then it Is memory uh, memory reference indirect? One means indirect. If it is indirect, then AR 
uh, then the memory reference uh, of the address register is stored in the address register. It means it, it does not uh, uh, contains the immediate data, so that the data will be up. Uh, the data will be available in the address of the address, so that. Uh, after uh, we get the effective address, uh, the execution state will be occur, and the sequential counter will become zero. It is up to, uh, I mean, uh, in opcode, it is zero to six if it occupies. If the uh, if the opcode is seven, it means D seven to be active. Then it may be register reference or else input output. If it is register reference, it is zero, and if it is input output then it is one uh, if uh, the register reference means uh, at p3 state it means the execution state the uh, it will execute uh, the register reference instruction and the sequential counter becomes one and if it may be one when the opcode is seven uh, at, uh, and also d7 bit is active and if the mode is one then it is input output uh, range so then it will perform some uh, perform some action and it will execute input output instruction as well as the sequential counter will become zero this is the execution state so this entire uh, uh, program will be stored in instruction cycle so the instruction cycle consists of three phases as we discussed earlier it is fetching decoding and executing so thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity.